Hi, it's Derek Watson here again from First Impressions Dental Practice in uh, East Kent. And in this video I wanted to cover uh, what is a hygienist. Now, uh, people have generally have two problems with their teeth. One is that they nobody brushes as well as they think they do and therefore they get uh, uh, gum shrinkage. And the other one is everybody eats more sugar than they're prepared to admit, so they get decay. Decay tends to be a disease of younger people, uh, late teens, early 20s. Whereas gum disease is a, uh, is a problem for people as they get older. And that's not because it suddenly strikes as you get older, it's because it's a cumulative problem and uh, if you haven't brushed your teeth as well as you think for 20 or 30 years, then all the small amounts of damage will start to add up and eventually all your teeth will get loose and fall out. Now you can't sterilise your mouth. Um, so. Uh, and it's the effect of these uh, bacteria on your gums over the years that causes them to shrink. But you can just try and reduce the number of bacteria in your mouth to a reasonable level. And, and that's why we brush. Now, uh, many of you I know will be thinking, well, you know, we, we, we teach children to brush their teeth um, and you've got it all back to front. Whereas in fact, um, with children, the diet is much more important. It's important that they sort of get, they learn that te teeth are there to be brushed. But not brushing your teeth as a child is not such a massive deal as toothpaste companies make it out to be. Not brushing your teeth and gums thoroughly once you're in your 20s and after that is, uh, can be a big deal. Some people are very prone to gum shrinkage, others not so much. Um, but uh, it's uh, certainly a good idea to brush your teeth or clean your teeth with a toothbrush very thoroughly at least once a day. And in doing that, as I say, you're not sterilising your mouth but you are keeping down the uh, and the number of bacteria to a point where they are they're on the back foot if you like and any bacteria that are in there tend to be fairly friendly and not the uh, long wiggly ones that have been in there for, for, for weeks and months and are capable of doing quite a severe amount of damage. So we're off the topic of what's a hygienist really. Now a hygienist is someone who's uh, received special training in the treatment and prevention of gum disease and uh, what a hygienist will do is uh, they will be able to look at your teeth and gums, assess the health um, and decide in many jurisdictions they can decide what treatment is necessary. In some cases they have to defer to the dentist for a treatment plan. But they're then capable of uh, cleaning your teeth, professionally cleaning your teeth um, in order to slow down or, and hopefully stop the, uh, any gum shrinkage. So um, the way they do that, they have a series of um, uh, mechanical air driven or electrical scalers, which are all um, whiz away and uh, do, do a fantastic job of cleaning your teeth up. Um, and a series of hand scalers and polishes and things like that. So when you've had seen up and see the hygienist, say, your teeth always feel fantastic. They always feel great. And uh, then uh, they eventually start um, um, slowly clogging up again. If you don't look after them properly. So um, you may want to come and see a hygienist on a regular basis. All I would say is that really um, it's important to understand that it's not the hygienist's job to look after your teeth. Um, it's your job to look after your teeth. You're the one, you know, you may see the hygienist two or three times a year. The other 362 days a year, it's going to be you that's brushing them, you that's looking after them, you that has responsibility for them. And so please do adopt the, um, you know, take, take on yourself the job of making sure that your mouth stays healthy. Um, you cannot uh, be, you know, um, a slapdash about uh, cleaning your teeth uh, for 362 days a year and then expect the hygienist to get you healthy on the three days a year or so that she sees you. Um, now you may not need to see a hygienist uh, or you may need to very rarely see a hygienist if that's the case, then that's great because it means that you are looking after your teeth really well. Um, if you haven't been to the dentist for a long time, especially if you've got loose teeth or you're getting a bit long in the tooth or your gums are bleeding, then that's a sign that uh, your brushing is probably not quite as good as it, as it could be. So uh, in that case, I would then pop along for a checkup and see a dentist or a hygienist um, and uh, ask you know and they will be able to suggest and put in place a plan which will hopefully get your gums healthy again we can't unshrink gums unfortunately so um, gum disease is all about prevention that's the note on which i'll finish so um, it's all concentrated really the treatment on making sure that things don't get any worse and that you hang on to what you've got 
Anyway, that's a bit about gum disease and hygienists, and uh, I'll talk to you next time.